let's move on to the next critical topic uh, that is weighted average cost of capital to understand that let's ha have some numbers let's say I start a business where I bring in equity of uh, 100 million and I'm also borrowing through preferential capital 50 million then there is a term loan 50 million so the total funds that are borrowed is say 200 million okay so let me just change the color yeah so the total funds raised is 200 million now when these funds are raised the point we have to understand is uh, none of the funds are coming free into the business it means all has a cost okay and let me give you the cost information also equity shareholders are expecting 20 percent preference shareholders are expecting 18 percent and uh, term loan bankers are expecting 15 percent okay and uh, i'll also give you one more information the tax is 30 percent now with this information if i ask you what is the average cost of capital for this company okay uh, many will say it is uh, simply average of 20 plus 18 plus 15 by 3 something like this average cost of capital is 20 plus 18 plus 15 by 3 and something like 17.67 but uh, that is absolutely wrong okay we cannot have it like that so what we should do we should find out the cost of capital based on what is known as weightage we have to find out the cost of capital based on what is known as weightage it means we have to find out weight or proportion of each funds to the total so if i take equity equity is 100 million whereas total is 200 million so the proportion of equity to the total funds is 100 by 200 it is 50 percentage similarly if i take the weightage of preference share capital it is 50 to 200 50 divided by 200 so it is 25 percentage and if i look at the proportion of term loan it is 50 divided by 200 and again it is 25 percent so now we know what is the proportion or weightage of each and every source of funds to the total funds it means this weightage got to be multiplied with their respective cost to find out the weighted average cost of capital so what i can do is i can take this 20 percent i can multiply it with 50 percent it means i get weighted average interest or weighted average cost of interest i'll say weighted average cost that is 20 multiplied by 50 percent it is 10 percent it means i'm going to spend so much so much of cost i'm going to incur but in that 10 percent is attributable to equity then preference share capital 18 but it takes only 25 percent right so 18 multiplied by 25 percent it is 4.5 then when it comes to debt what i have to remember is this 15 percent interest will give me tax benefit so i have to consider only the net cost so what i'll do i'll have a box here i'll take interest multiplied by 1 minus t so my interest is 15 percent multiplied by 1 minus t my tax rate is 30 percent so multiplied by 1 minus 0.3 so it is 0.7 so 0.7 into 50 so it is 10.5 so my effective interest rate is only 10.5 percent so i get 10.5 multiplied by the weightage of 25 percent so i'll have here 10.5 multiplied by 25 percent so i have 2.63 percentage i have 2.63 percentage so now if i total this three okay that is 10 plus 4.5 plus 2.63 that's my weighted average cost of capital which is 17.13 percent so this is how typically we should find out what is weighted average cost of capital so here the way in which i have derived the weighted average cost of capital is by assigning weightage to each and every source of fund instead i could have adopted even a simple method okay but i'm not going for that but rather i'm going for this method because in this method it is very clear for me how my cost is 17.13 what are the composition what makes 17.13 it is very clear that substantial portion is attributable to equity right out of 17.13 10 percentage is for equity then 4.5 is for preference and only balance 2.63 goes for 
dead portion that is in this case it's a term loan okay so this way of finding weighted average cost of capital has its own advantage that is you get to know the composition of the 17.13 percent but there is also another way which is even more simple not to elaborate like this what we could have done is we would have taken 150 50 okay we could have simply multiplied when it comes to this instead of 15 i will take 10.5 we could have simply multiplied we could have got the cost that cost if it is divided by 200 again we will get 17.13 that is not wrong but the advantage of this method is you get to know what is the composition of your weighted average cost of capital so understand weighted average cost of capital is the overall cost of capital of the funds that are deployed in the business and it is calculated by deploying weightage okay weightage here is nothing but the proportion of each and every source of funds to the total funds okay so weighted average cost of capital is going to facilitate your investment decisions how the returns which you are getting from your projects okay the returns which you are expecting to get from the project should be greater than weighted average cost of capital the example which we have seen where our weighted average cost of capital was something like 17.16 or something you cannot invest in any project which is going to give you a return less than that number it means you are going to lose and the major loser will be the owners so understand weighted average cost of capital only facilitates investment decisions you can say s2 project or you can say no to project by looking at weighted average cost of capital if the return on investment is greater than vac you can say s to the project if return on investment is less than vac you got to say no to the project okay that's why in capital budgeting for evaluating the cash flows for taking better decisions tools like npv and all where it is used the discounting the cash flow discounting is done only at weighted average cost of capital which is otherwise called as expected rate of return Thank you for watching this video, hope you liked it. If you wish to learn more on this topic, do check our comprehensive online course. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video lecture, do not forget to click on that like, share and subscribe button with bell icon.